All right, let's talk about a clinical correlate here. We just talked about pyruvate decarboxylation and uh, the enzyme involved was pyruvate dehydrogenase. And now let's talk about a thiamine deficiency. Um, one thing I did not cover was that pyruvate dehydrogenase needs enzyme, or not enzyme, it needs cofactor B1, uh, also known as thiamine. Thiamine, thiamine, um, different pronunciations of it. It needs B1 thiamine. Um, what happens if you don't have thiamine? Well, it means that your pyruvate de dehydrogenase does not work, and therefore you're not able to create that acetyl CoA, and that will go into the TCA cycle and create a lot of ATP. So, since we don't have this enzyme working properly, we're going to create a lot of pyruvate that can't get converted over. And all that pyruvate is going to get converted to ATP via anaerobic glycolysis. Um, I know I haven't covered it up to this point yet. However, that anaerobic glycolysis does not produce um, uh, as much ATP. So effectively, we're taking a high ATP process and getting rid of it and now converting it to the anaerobic um, lower yield ATP cycle. Um, so this is where thiamine is important. It's a cofactor. It helps this pyruvate dehydrogenase do its job. Um, so what happens if we have a thiamine deficiency? Um, well, let's think about it. Who gets a thiamine deficiency? Well, you have elderly. Uh, a good example would be an elderly person comes in uh, to the ER. They're in a confused state. Um, you ask them about their diet. It's very poor. It's fast food. Um, they eat the same things. They eat boxed food. Um, it's a very poor diet and vitamins. So, and they don't take vitamin supplements. You got to think a thiamine deficiency. Um, also, alcoholics. Oh, this is a good one. Um, an alcoholic comes in in a, an acute comatose state or an acute confused state. Um, you got to be thinking thiamine deficiency. Um, what's effectively happening is they don't have enough energy. They're using that anaerobic, glycoly uh, anaerobic glycolysis or anaerobic metabolism. Um, they're in an ATP crisis state. That's why they get confusion, lethargy, um, a whole bunch of uh, confusion problems, mental problems, CNS problems. Uh, and then lastly, um, kind of another classic presentation would be a polished rice population. So people who eat polished rice on a daily basis, day in, day out, they don't get enough vitamins. Um, polished rice is without the shells, so that's where a lot of the vitamins come in. Um, they might also present with a thiamine deficiency. Um, alcoholics, Typically, you'll hear the Wernicke, Korsakoff, uh, Wernicke Korsakoff symptoms associated with that. While in the polished rice population, you'll see berry berry, um, and there's a wet and dry form of berry berry. So this is who gets it. So now let's talk about um, a little bit of, of what you would see. So in Wernicke Korsakoff symptoms. Uh, those are more of the central symptoms, like central nervous system problems. And some of the, the I mean, you can get mental confusion, you can get ataxia, you can get loss of eye coordination, um, you can get acute lethargy. Um, you'll see a lactic acid, a lactic, lactic acidemia in this patient. Um, and this is all going to be due to this thiamine deficiency. Next, like I said, in the polished rice population, you would see very berry. Um, there are two different forms, there's wet and there's dry, and dry berry berry you're going to see more like an ataxia peripheral problems, while Wernicke Korsakoff was more central, so CNS, um, this is going to be more peripheral nervous system involvement, so you're going to get ataxia again, um, however you're going to get pain, paresthesias, uh, maybe like a nystagmus in the eyes, you get vomiting, uh, paralysis, you'll, you'll see these symptoms in dry berry berry. Um, lastly, there's going to be wet berry berry. The difference between wet and dry, wet is going to involve the cardiovascular system. So wet, think heart. Um, you're going to get heart failure, you're going to get edema, and the edema could be due to the heart failure. And then uh, also you could see like visceral problems, so stomach pain, stomach problems. Um, but when you, when you see wet berry berry, B-E-R-I, B-E-R-I, uh, think Heart, think heart. 
So thiamine deficiency, you can have the central, which would be the Wernicke Korsakoff symptoms, or you could get the peripheral problems, which are going to be your berry berries, and there's two different forms, wet and dry. Dry is going to be more PNS, while wet is going to be more cardiovascular. Um, let's talk about why this actually happens. So thiamine is needed um, to create ATP, like we said. Pyruvate gets converted to acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA gets fed into this TCA cycle. That's going to create lots of ATP. What is ATP actually used for in this example? Well, ATP is used for the myelination of nerve fibers. So when your nerves are myelinating, um, which helps conduction, the myelination needs high amounts of ATP. Well, I just said thiamine deficiency, you're not able to create all that ATP. You have to use the anaerobic pathway, which doesn't yield as much, which means your myelination isn't going to happen as well. When you have not as effective myelination, you're going to have nerve problems. And that nerve problems is what manifests in that Wernicke, Korsakoff, and Berry, Berry syndrome. Um, so that's why you see the central and the peripheral problems. Um, alcoholics typically see it more centrally, while the polished rice symptoms, um, you can get it peripherally more. Um, otherwise, thiamine is needed for that ATP conversion. Um, and this is an excellent correlate. So pyruvate dehydrogenase, thiamine, go hand in hand. I mean, think Barry Berry, think Wernicke Korsakoff. If on boards, if on test questions, if on any clinical correlate, thiamine deficiency, you got to think pyruvate dehydrogenase um, and, and its effects beyond pyruvate dehydrogenase. Who cares if you can't convert pyruvate to acetyl-CoA? But what does that mean? Well, when you don't have acetyl-CoA, you can't create more ATP, you'll be in an energy deficiency state. Um, excellent tie-in.